Hi, and welcome to a Punk with Toys. My name is Lawrence, and we're gonna do the second video of the night. Anyway, what I have here is the Valiverse Action Force Weapons Pack Charlie. Now, I'm not gonna say that Valiverse has the best weapons on the market. I am gonna say that from what I've seen, they have the best weapons for the price point that they are offering. Seriously, this is like 12 or 15 bucks. And here is just the loadout of weapons that you're gonna get along with six blast effects. So just quickly looking here, you can see that you're gonna get roughly four bigger weapons, three smaller submachine guns and one pistol. And the one thing that's really nice is this is now the third weapons pack, I do believe. Every single one of them's been different. They give you different loadouts. Um, I don't believe there's been any crossing of the weapons, um, other, except for maybe if they were like paint swapped, but they've all been different, including the prototype pack is what I actually originally had, which they were all black. and. When you see the paint apps on them, they definitely make them look much, much better. So anyway, this is the box. It's kind of nice. Uh, G.I. Joe Hasbro says they're kind of doing the same thing with their weapons, um, except they're just going to look a bit different, but they're made, you know, to look like you can kind of stack them. And if you look at this, it kind of looks like a weapons armament. So you can put it in the back or have your figures, you know, shooting over, different things like that. So I think it's really cool. It's something you can add into it. Anyway, I'm not going to waste any time. I have four figures over here that actually have some of the weapons on them right now. I don't know all the weapons. I'm not going to make up names for them if I don't know what they are. Um, but we're going to take a look at this. Give me a quick video. Um, but again, these will be available on Big Bad Toys and Dorkside. Or this week, I do believe you can order them on Valiverse website, valiverse.com. So if you're interested and you just want to do that now, you can go on there. Um, actually, I can't say now. Uh, I believe Monday or Tuesday, once it gets out, all of the web or all the pre-orders, you can be able to order the Valiverse stuff. So I'll talk for two and a half minutes. Let's take a look at this. All right, so here we go. We're going to take a look at everything, everything that this thing comes with. Probably should have left everything as is okay so here we go we'll start off here here i have a gung-ho with this weapon now what's kind of crazy is this weapon actually looked pretty big at first until you see it in gung-ho's hand and you see how big gung-ho actually is I'll pop it out here but that's where the first one looks and again i don't know what it's called uh it's a decent looking weapon uh, again not my favorite looking weapon see here okay so this one does not have a removable magazine the removable magazines so you look at this one here it looks different than what the removable ones look like which kind of have this um stitching across it and they're all the same so you can cross them along with these ones here all right so here we have my favorite weapon on it, the M4 with the uh, suppressor on it. I wish we could take this off, but unfortunately it doesn't come like that. So this is going to go definitely on my beachhead. I think this looks absolutely amazing. I think this beachhead is going to look awesome with it. And you can have a blast effect. That just will slide right in there. And now that looks that looks really sweet all right so I'll pop this off here we'll take a closer look at it all right so here you go it's very long oops hopefully it didn't break as i said these things have been known known to break but so here you go it's really long because of the suppressor on it it obviously has a stock pulled out so it actually looks much bigger than most m4s um i'm actually perfectly fine with it all right and then here we have, I believe this is a scar with the grenade launcher on it. Um, I only know the name of this weapon because I kept hearing it over and over. Um, so with this one here, the clip does come out. Same with the M4. And, you know, with this here, you have 
you know, mostly black and green is the paint apps. Sorry. But then you do have what looks like silver where you're going to have your bullet coming out of. Same with this. this is black and gray for the most part. I just don't like the way this looks. I think it looks clunky and not my favorite weapon. And then I have a Baroness here with this. Again, it's a submachine gun. I have no idea what it is. I think it's nice because with the Valorous weapons, they seem to be a little oversized in my opinion. So with the female G.I. Joes and even from the production pictures of Series 3, which is the female versions of uh, Action Force, I think that, that a lot of these weapons are going to look too big. But this looks pretty nice. And this one also does not have a removable clip in it. If someone corrects me that it's something called different, I don't really care. Um, a cool looking weapon. Um, I like it. I think I'm probably going to use it with the Baroness. Um, Alright. So then we have... I want to say this is like a Mac 10. Now, I love this weapon because... As a kid, there was a um, a toy gun that we had that was a squirt gun that I had, and it looked just like this. I mean, I can't believe that we used to have um, <laughs> toy squirt guns that were uh, battery-operated that looked exactly like weapons. I couldn't even imagine having something like that today, but I had this squirt gun. It had the long extended uh, clip here. It was super awesome, and I like this because... It can fit in a smaller figure's hands. Um, probably look really good on something like a Snake Eyes or someone like that. So I like that. This does not remove. Again, no big deal. Um, the one pistol that we have is the same one that came with Duster. Not Duster. Yeah, Duster. Um, it is painted different. This one seems to be a little small. Um, I know with Duster it seems small compared to some of the other pistols. But I think it's supposed to be uh, that it fits a it fits better to what um, the real weapon looks like. In here, my new trigger. Uh, he has again. I have no idea what the name of this weapon is, so I'm not even going to make one up. It does have the removable clip as I talked about. Um, this one, at first glance, actually looks kind of big, but as you can see with trigger, it looks kind of small. It just it has this really long stock so it's actually not all that big but again dual paint apps looks real nice it's got this little rail system uh, handles so you can make them like walk and holding it so that'll be good for some like action uh, picture shots clip comes out the one thing i can honestly say about these compared to the prototypes is the prototypes the clips wanted to fall out pretty easily they definitely rectified that. They stay in tight, but they're not too tight. Um, and then the last weapon that there is is this. Again, I think we've all seen terrorists use this, it seems. Um, now, the one that I do have is this came with the Baroness. So, here's what the Action Force 1 looks like. And here's what... The G.I. Joe Classified one looks like. And I do believe Zaymont Tomax is coming with this. Now, in all honesty, I do believe that looking at it, the Hasbro one looks a little bit better. I'm not looking that closely at the weapons. The Hasbro one does have a removable clip, which definitely means the Valibers can do it if they want to. But either one, I'm uh, not going to complain too much about as you can see, they're roughly the same size. So it's gonna fit in really well with your G.I. Joes. If you just want some weapons for G.I. Joes or maybe Marvel Legends, anything like that. So here I'll show you the different blast effects and they come with six blast effects, two each. So here's a smaller one, okay? And it pops in and there you have your muzzle flash which is pretty cool so this one you would say it's made for a handgun or smaller submachine gun and then you have bigger one which i'm gonna guess you would use on let's say a weapon 
like this. And it slides right in. So if you have a bigger weapon you want to use, a sniper weapon, this might work pretty well. All right. Now, you could use it on something like this, but why do you have a suppressor if you're trying to hide the muzzle flash? And then as for the M60, the M60, I can't believe I said that, the saw machine gun, because there is no hole for it, all right, and there's a couple other weapons that are the same way. They have this blast effect, which it has the hole in it. So it slides on like that. And there you go. So the only thing that you could possibly do, let me see here. I have the suppressor from... Uh, the, obviously, if you can see, I had to use some sticky tack for these really cheap muzzle blast effects that I've done. Um, I think this went from a snake eyes. I don't know. It, it's from one of the classified figures. So if you wanted to do a suppressor silence or whatever you want to call it, you could use it on this. Or... Use it on this, or we can do a super long one and have a have a double silencer. <laughs> and I'm just messing around. Yes, I know you don't do that. I'm sure someone in the comments will make a comment. Anyway, that's it. This is the action force. Weapons pack, Charlie, again, these are not the best six inch weapons. Um, I'm sure Mezco and all them are, but for the price that you're getting and what you're getting, you can't beat it. Um, I'm not gonna lie at all about that. Um, I don't think that everything is perfect with Valiverse, not at all. I don't think everything is perfect with Hasbro. Definitely don't think everything is perfect with Super 7 and so on, so on, so on, but for what you get for the price that you're paying, you can't beat this. Um, I only have two two packs so far uh, because of Big Bad Toys and their issues with Series 1. And what I can tell you is that I have more than enough weapons for all these figures and have a lot of classified figures. And as we know, <laughs> the first, what, 15 to 20 classified figures had garbage weapons. So as you might imagine... Guys like Gong Ho, which I have, and I have two beachheads, and I have two different roadblocks, and Scarlet, and all these other figures. None of them have the nerf weapons. Other than, I take that back, Cobra Troopers do, but I'm, you can get away with Cobra having weapons like that. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, here it is, Charlie Pack. Look for it on Big Bad Toys or Dorkside, or you can go to Valiverse.com. Again, if you need weapons for six-inch figures, this is it. Again, are they the best weapons that you're going to get? No, because there are some that are going from, you know, 15 to 20 bucks for a rifle and a handgun. This you're talking about probably about 12 to $15 for this arsenal of weapons. So many weapons. So... Anyway, I'm out of here. Have a wonderful night and happy toy hunting.